Now, the rise of the Chinese consumer has seen global companies rushing in to tap growth in a range of sectors there. Aside from luxury brands and also cars, of course, the spotlight on one particular sector is also shining bright, and that is the film industry. With more than a billion pairs of eyes in the mainland, Hollywood has been upping its appeal to Chinese moviegoers and increasingly collaborating with production companies there. For more, Greg Coote uh, joins us. He's the CEO at Latitude Entertainment in a first on CNBC interview around the desk with us here at the SGX together with our guest host, Kevin Gaynor from Nomura. Uh, good to see you and uh, uh, welcome to the show. So for any sort of uh, uh, entertainment uh, company or film production company uh, with ambitions, I mean, China's got to be front and center. Yeah, but it's not quite as simple as that. Um, there's nothing in China that is quite as simple as that. Yeah. I mean, the movie business is exploding there in as much as they're opening 10 screens a day. Um, but there's still maybe three or 400 million people that don't have access to a cinema screen. Um, and then you have government regulations and, and censorship that make it very difficult to do. So there's this golden opportunity that everybody sees in Hollywood of getting what is called a co-production. But there hasn't been really one yet. Um, well, and Iron Man 3 co-produced with the Chinese company, no? I don't think you'll find that that's necessarily been approved that's by some. exception? Oh, oh, it hasn't been approved? I don't think it's been approved. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. No, you keep asking, and uh, people keep asking about that, and, and they're all sort of things that are out there. Okay. Um, but it's not necessarily so. I think you need to check on that. Well, why is it so hard? You know, I, I sit with SAFT, which is the state uh, authority for radio, film and television, and say, what do I have to do to make a, a, an official co-production? Well, you sort of do this and sort of do that. I mean, it's like negotiable. You go anywhere in the world and it's tick the box. Director, actor, star, whatever. But in China, it's uh, more of a negotiation. So it's not that easy. Now, I have to say to you, uh, I would love to um, find the way to do it, but it has to be cultural, I think. And I think we need to wait until... You can't force this process. You can't yeah. say, OK, let's put a couple of Chinese actors in, now we've got a Chinese movie. It's yeah. not the case. Yeah. And are you offering what's in it for them to co-produce? Exactly right, yeah. And there's, an, there's, a, there's a great distrust in China of the world outside of China yeah. in the movie business. So they're really sort of China for China is really what they're thinking. But now, isn't there a growing acceptance, Greg, of the need to project a sort of soft economic power? Right. And won't they be able to do that through the movie industry? Yeah, there is. It's absolutely the soft power is the is the catchphrase. Um, but then they, then you bump up against uh, you can't uh, exceed the speed limit in a car in China. You can't give a Chinese guy a gun. You can't make him the bad guy. I mean, this this is like you know, what are you, this is a this it's a business, but it's also it's also an art form. You just got to write it, and let it happen. Yeah. So it's difficult. And I'm not saying it's not going to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. But it, there's not like a product line like that. It's very difficult. Why do I think of Euro puddings, as we call them, right. across European right. productions right. That, that never really right. exactly inspire right. artistically? Yeah, no, no. I mean, the, the interesting thing is that Hollywood's looking at that market saying we have to get in there. And for instance, uh, uh, News Corp bought 20% of Bono, right? Um, and now Sanford Panitch, who's the president of Fox, is in Singapore now for our meeting today, um, is making Chinese movies. This is 20th Century Fox making Chinese movies, China for China. That's the, that's the breakthrough now, is the market is big enough, strong enough, it'll soon be if it continues to track the way it's going, it would be the biggest market in the world to surpass the U.S. in 2020. 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, who's to say it's going to be a screens, though? Because, I mean, in terms of access, it's probably a lot harder to, and, and slower to build a cinema with a screen that attracts, I don't know, a couple of hundred or, or a couple of thousand people. What about uh, uh, distribution through, through discs, Blu-ray? I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, the piracy in China is dreadful. That's mm. a, it's still a big problem. Absolutely yeah. dreadful, yeah. And it's, it's, you know, I, I, like, I don't want to romanticize it by calling it piracy, it's theft. Yeah. Um, and if we could um, get over that, it's a problem. It's a multi, multi-billion dollar problem. Not just in China, of course. Mm. Fair enough. Okay, Greg, okay. thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. We appreciate it. That was uh, Greg Coote there joining us from Latitude Entertainment. And we've got more ahead with Kevin Gaynor from Nomura in just a couple of minutes. We'll